Hey everyone, David Burgess here again with Keller Williams Realty. I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the channel at this very familiar spot, if you are familiar with this channel. And this, of course, is Fort Hamer Park in Parish on the Manatee River. And the reason I'm here today is I am going over five brand new communities that are coming to Parish in 2024 that I'm really excited about, to be honest. They're all very different. There's something that I feel that Parish has been screaming and crying out for over the last year or so, as um, I feel like there's just been more and more volume builders coming into Parish and less of something a little bit different and unique until now. So there's some really exciting uh, communities on the horizon let's go over them and i hope this rowing club behind me here isn't too distracting while they move these huge rowing boats into the river there but anyway let's go over these new communities and see if any of them are a good fit for you in 2024 or possibly even 2025 Right then, we're actually gonna start from west to east, <laughs> from left to right, as you look at this map behind me in Parish, and we're starting from like the interstate, um, which is really exit 229 as you as Parish and Palmetto meets, and then we're gonna head further east into Parish as we go over these, these communities. But before I go any further, there are no, obviously it's still very, very early days, so I've got no information on CDD fees, HOA fees, some of them I don't even have the lot sizes or anything like that. I've got very basic information. So, you know, we will go through this on a, on a case by case basis, but, um, but right now, you know, it's just a case of showing you and highlighting where these communities are coming, how many homes, what the, who the builder is and what types of homes they'll probably be offering. So number one, the first one is Sea Air, which is right, actually really close to Interstate and that exit 229. They're gonna have a hospital coming across the street in that Robinson Gateway. And this is pretty much across the street from uh, the 55 plus community Del Webb um, at Bayview there, which is sold really, really well. Um, if you're familiar with that community, it's pre been pretty isolated and it's on, it's on Moccasin Wallow um, Road, which has been one lane in each direction for forever. And now they're actually widening it to, in time, it's gonna be three lanes in each way. So there's a lot of construction going on there. And as you can see behind me, all of this land has just been cleared here for Sierra. They've just built the roads going in, but there's no homes that I can see on the horizon yet but this is going to be a crystal lagoon community this is going to be very very similar to what south shore bay offers in waimama and of course the number one crystal lagoon community in florida and the whole nation i believe um, which was epperson up in wesley chapel now the difference with this one is that the lagoon is going to be smaller this is a four acre lagoon sorry a four and a half acre lagoon whereas the one up in wesley chapel was seven acres and the one in waimama um, south shore bay a little bit further north was five acres so they seem to be getting a little bit smaller um, but as you can see from this one here up in epperson it's a huge lagoon so removing you know two two and a bit acre two and a half acres from it shouldn't matter too much because it really is huge in size and it's more about the ambience there the restaurants, the vibe, the music, the, the uh, food trucks that they have there. It's just awesome. They really do know what they're doing. And I was always a little bit skeptical of Epperson when they first opened because I was thinking, you know, it's the first Crystal Lagoon community. Will it be okay? Will it, you know, will it really thrive? Will it have issues? It might have, you know, they might have come across some sort of problems with the lagoon, but it looks like they, they know what they're doing and everything has worked out really well. And it's the same developer, Metro Places, that are gonna be doing this one at Sierra. And they're gonna have a, a, a variety of builders there. And one of them is Biscayne Homes, which has been really popular up in, up at the, uh, the Crystal Lagoon community, Epperson in Wesley Chapel. Um, really impressed by Biscayne Homes. They build some lovely modern homes, open floor plans. I think people will absolutely mop them up in, uh, in, in Parish. So that is, they're gonna, I think they're gonna be the highest, uh, you know, or the best quality builder in Sierra. Um, and then you have Dreamfinders, which is a builder that 
I have heard good things about, but I've never worked with them. There aren't too many of them in this area. Um, I know there are in other pockets of Florida, but in from Tampa down to Sarasota, I have never come across them. So, um, so yeah, Dream Finders are going to be there. And then, of course, you have Lennar and DR Horton. I don't know if it's going to have um, like a 55 plus section like it does at South Shore Bay and Waimama. Um, and of course, even even at Epperson, I believe they have a, a little section which is like at least an active adult and, and maintenance free section. They might offer something like that in Sierra as well. Oh god, we've got the uh, we've got the exercises going on here now. Um, so so uh, so yeah. So um, there's going to be three thousand homes in total. There's going to be walking trails, and the good thing about metro places is they're very uh, they're very good on um, on Wi-Fi. They have a thing called UltraFi there, where you can actually get Wi-Fi out in the community, in the trails, at the lagoon, and it's all solar panel by these LED lights that are on the street lights. So it's really awesome concept. Uh, but that community is on the horizon. I wouldn't expect any model homes to be built there until probably around I would say the second quarter of 2024 um, but I, I know in Biscayne homes knowing that it's got a crystal lagoon there being very very close to the interstate I think this is going to be a really popular community so number one is Sierra Number two is Oakfield, and if you've been going down uh, I-75, you will see the huge signs that they've got there in the parish area that kind of uh, that really showcase and, and promote the community. But there's no real information about it at the moment. All we really know is that it's 1,900 acres in size. It's going to be on the north side and the south side of Buckeye Road. That north section is a little bit close to the interstate for me. I'd be a little bit concerned about the noise there. Um, but it's the Eisenhower Property Group, which is normally Lennar's developer. So I think Lennar Homes are gonna be there, but I don't know if Lennar are gonna be the only builder in that community. Of course, I will update you as I find out more information, but it's gonna be 4,000 plus single family homes in that community. Oakfield is gonna be ginormous. And um, around the corner there, they've got Prosperity Lakes, which is another huge Lennar community. So my guess is it's going to be different floor plans to what the, um, the 55 plus section is and the main section in Prosperity Lakes. And my guess is it probably will be natural gas because they can connect to, to uh, Prosperity Lakes and to Bayview, which are right in that proximity area. So, so yeah, very, again, the north section is, a, is very close to the interstate and the south section is also part of the same community, Oakfield, um, but that's kind of coming away from the interstate. So my guess is they'll be mixing and matching the, the styles and sizes and the series of homes. But my guess is that Lenore Lennar Homes are either developing that land and building some of the homes or it's going to be a Lennar Homes community throughout. Number three is Medallion Homes and it's so good to see Medallion Homes coming back with their, um, their really highly desirable products that were sold in the reserve at Twin Rivers uh, because I sold that community like hotcakes. I sold five or six homes in there in a really short space of time and people just loved the, the more spacious lots, the no CDD fee, that every home was a three car garage. Um, you know, it had the, the concrete tile roofs, it, you know, you could have paved driveways and things. So, so they had, it was just a very well designed community and Medallion haven't had anything else like that. Um, on the horizon other than uh, Watercolour Place and Cross Creek where they've had smaller homes. Some have been three car garages but mainly they've been the two car ones and they've had villas and of course they've been building those apartments. Um, but this is behind the school. So this is behind the school on uh, Fort Hamer which is Annie Lucy Williams Elementary School. So it is all that land that is behind that school and I don't know at this point in time if it's going to be part of Cross Creek because I have seen it mentioned on the uh, county website it's called Cross Creek South or if they're going to name it something completely different. Um, if it's part of Cross Creek it will have a CDD fee and if, if that is the case it will probably have natural gas because most of Cross Creek does have natural gas. Um, but if it's separate, then you know they might not have a CDD fee, and then they might not have gas. So it's it's a that's the little unknown at the moment. But they are going to probably have the the very very popular Santa Maria floor plan that everybody loves, um, which is around 25, 2600 square feet. And of course, you can have a casita at the back and a bonus room, and there's so much you can do with that home. 
an 18 foot kitchen island. The, the Santa Maria is just a, a, an unbelievable floor plan. Um, but then they have the Aruba and the Barbados and other floor plans. So that's the, the homes and the series of homes that I'm going to expect in that community. And again, I think it's probably going to be more at, towards the end of the first quarter of 2024, possibly the start of the um, the second quarter. But my good contact at Medallion is trying to give me more information at the moment, but she's keeping very tight lipped for now. So number three is Medallion Homes, and that is pretty much Cross Creek or just south of there off Fort Hamer Road. And right around the corner on Golf Course Road, Neil Communities have just have just released a new line of homes and it's actually going to be a new builder called Simply Dwell Homes but it's part of Neil Communities and the community is going to be called Broadleaf and Broadleaf is next to Canoe Creek and it's going to range in size from around 1500 square feet to around 2400 square feet so it's going to be smaller homes but they're going to be like a they're going to be like their entry level version of homes and um, they're, they're, so they're pretty much going to be like Casa Fresca Arta Homes by West Bay or Express Arta DR Horton. I am really excited to see how well of a, of a product Neil can offer at that entry level price point because these price points guys wait for it they are between 350 to the high 300s all in which is unbelievably low for, for a, a builder you know of of quality associated with Neil Communities, that is such a low price point. So I would highly recommend looking at Broadleaf. Um, they are gonna be ready they are the builder that is gonna be ready next and they will actually be ready towards the end of 2023 and not beyond. They're having 300 homes in that community. It's it's not gonna be gated. They are gonna have um, a CDD fee, which is gonna be pretty small at the moment, but they haven't mentioned exactly how much. But if you go to simplydwellhomes.com, you can get a feel for the, you know, for the model homes, sorry, the floor plans that, are, that will be sold. They're gonna have a mixture of one and two story homes, but for like 350 to the high 300s all in that is absolutely fantastic value to be on golf course road and very close to lakewood and to fort hamer park to to the parish community high school the new uh, park that's coming to parish as well uh, there's you are right in the heart of parish there you've got 301 on your doorstep to get to ellington outlet mall broadleaf is going to be very very interesting apparently they're not going to have a community pool there it's going to be more outdoor space um so really excited to see what that offers and honestly if you are you know even i i highly believe that a lot of investors will be looking at this type of community i did actually check with them and say look can investors come in and buy these homes and they said yes and a lot of these new builders are very conscious of, of investors right now they're trying to reduce the amount of people that are having second homes but apparently anybody these homes are open to absolutely anybody so now, I, you know, these homes are all going to be spec homes. You're not going to be able to customize them, but you, you know, you are getting in at a very low price point there. So my guess is you're not going to get eight feet doors. You're not going to get 42 inch cabinets. You're not going to get five and a quarter inch baseboards. You're not going to get paved driveways and all the, all the, all the bells and whistles. But for that price point, if you are like a young family or, or someone relocating to the area where house prices are a lot less than what they are here, absolutely look at broadleaf and um and i'm you know as soon as i get any more information on this community i'll i'll upload some information either another video or i'll do a, a youtube short so um so yeah really excited by broadleaf and again that is next to canoe creek on golf course road lastly <laughs> Rye Ranch on Rye Road is going to be a new 55 plus community by Coulter Homes and that is such a welcome addition to, to the area guys. Honestly, Parish really does need some good high end quality builders because like I was saying, you know, there's been a lot of volume builders coming to the area. We've had a lot of Lenar, a lot of DR Horton, which is great if you're looking for that product, but Parish needs more of a, of a variety, especially the people that are buying homes in Parish in the seven, eight, nine hundred a million plus price point they need better quality homes so i'm really glad to see coulter are coming to um are coming to this whole new area which is right behind the new fire station at the end of of um of rye road where rye road and rutland road meet there are going to be a, there's going to be a huge new community there and apparently coulter are they're they are developing the whole land 
but only about half of it is going to be the 55 plus section so there's probably going to be other builders coming to that huge master plan community but around 1600 um, single family homes are coming um, and that's going to be 40 50 and 60 foot lots so it's going to be very much like a Crestwind in Lakewood Ranch it might even be called Crestwind because they seem to call a lot of their 55 plus communities in other areas Crestwind um, but as that one in Lakewood comes to a head and um, you know the Bay View, uh, you know the Del Webb at Bay View is going to start slowing down as well. That's going to be a very popular 55 plus community, and it is breaking ground very soon. Apparently, um, not. I, I'm actually really intrigued to see what the price point is going to be for um, for these homes because in Lakewood they were, you know, they're now selling well up in the eight nine hundred to a million range, but. In that part of Parish, it's actually quite remote. You're quite far east in Parish there. There's not a whole lot going on there. Although it's actually probably a 10 minute drive to the top of Lakewood Ranch, at the moment there isn't that much going on. So I, I think they're gonna be a more of, affordable, a more of a, an affordable price point, but we'll wait and see. Um, but yeah, great, great news to see that Coulter homes are coming. And look, you know, when you've got Biscayne homes coming here too, Medallion homes are coming with their, their more premium product, it's great news for Parish. You know, at the moment, I would say Homes by West Bay and Neil Communities, and probably someone like Cardell uh, are probably the best builders in Parish. Um, but they're building, you know, smaller products. They're not building, they're either building in locations that are kind of a little bit out there, or, um, or there's just, you know, they're not building the floor plans that a lot of other communities are more familiar with especially in like Tampa when it comes to homes by West Bay you know so so yeah great to see some new uh, some new homes on the horizon um, Parish is just again guys I've said this a hundred times before Parish is so exciting it is we haven't scratched the surface of what Parish is going to be in time um, we've got like I said we've got that new park coming off Fort Hamer Road it's going to be absolutely huge. I think it's costing like 15 million bucks. It's going to be an, a free park to absolutely everyone in the area. Moccasin Wallows being expanded, like I said. They've got two hospitals on the horizon. You know, they've got the town centre of Parish coming there by Crosswind Point. It's exciting times here. Yes, it's still going to be a few years away from the finished product, but if you're moving to the area, you know, it's so easy to get over to St. Pete. I've got so much, so much time for Parish, um, and and yes, it you know there are it has shortcomings with infrastructure right now, but yes, it is absolutely coming to this area. So, if you are in, the, if you're still in the market to build a home in 2024, and you want to work with a realtor who is putting his money where his mouth is, that is what I, <laughs> that is what I just heard from another uh, another buyer who who called me and said I want to work with a realtor who is putting his money where his mouth is because I am personally building in this market in these funny certain times where people are just kind of waiting for this market crash that has still not come so um so yeah call me reach out to me if you have any questions or concerns guys i do not see this market changing anytime soon i think in election year the interest rates are going to come down we're hoping so i don't know how much higher they can really go right now but um but these builders are opening up they're giving more and more closing cost incentives and if you are trying to time the market i highly recommend that you don't move when it is ready for you when you're ready to go if that is work related if that is just circumstances and you're just over it move when it is right for you when the numbers work when you will know when it is the right time and i've got that personally at the moment i'm moving because it is the right time for me yeah of course it's a little bit you know i think look when you make a high-end purchase you're always a little bit uneasy and everybody who buys a high-end home is always going to be a little bit skeptical of if prices come down but when parish is only going to be improving when there is still constant migration coming to florida unless something drastically changes like politics changes taxes change or something along those lines i feel like florida is still the best place to invest and listen we are here to help so if you want to reach out i'll give you all of my all of my kind of recommendations and advice and guidance i'm here to help you every step of the way my team and i are on hand and yet yeah, all of my contact information is below and we'll be more than happy to help i have rambled on far too much now so i'm going to sign off and i've got some good videos coming up guys so if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and you want more content in parish or surrounding areas lakewood uh, the west coast of florida basically from tampa down to venice please subscribe i'd love to get to 4,000 subscribers um, this year i'm about 
70 away. So if you've been tuning in for a while and you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And please like this video um, as it always supports the channel and myself. So thanks again. I will be back for more videos very, very soon.